your favorite part of school? I already know, leaving it. Woohoo, man, I'm going to wait for the last bell to ring. Excuse me, where do you think you're going? Uh, the bell just rang? No, I dismiss you, not the bell. Gee, see, according to statistics, kids spend seven hours a day, 180 days a year, 1,120 waking hours at school. I'm talking 13.36% of waking hours wasted in school by the age of 18. The very least the school system could do is provide good food. But mm, mm, some public school system offers food just as bad or even worse than jail. Now, I grew up when school lunches were fairly cheap. $1.50 a day will get you a slice of pizza, french fries, chocolate chip cookies, milk, and everyone's favorite bugs. How is that milk? Look at what they're giving us at lunch. Look at this. This is the main meal. It looks like puke and applesauce. See, my pops wasn't a fan of giving us lunch money. If you're really that hungry in school, well, you better pack some leftovers and warm it up in the sun, which suck. Dad, I need lunch money. Lunch money? For what? Uh, for food? Food? Don't you have leftovers in that fridge? Dad, you want me to pack a cold steak to school? And what's wrong with that? Um, nothing? Put in some foil paper. It's summertime. It'll warm up before lunch. Bam! Picture taking over leftover food at school. The kids would flame you. <laughs> Is little Timmy bringing ramen noodles to school? What you got next? Fried chicken? Watermelon? Yeah, f that sh Talk that sh now. And that, my guy, is where this story begins. So for this story, I'm going to take you back, back to my school lunch years. So it was my freshman year in high school. Now, at the time, I was not a big fan of using a boy's bathroom. Oh, man, my stomach is killing me. Yo, Tim, what's your deal with not using a school bathroom? First thing first, see, public school bathrooms are different, different. There's <laughs> things all over the stalls, graffiti all over the walls, and I know they barely clean those toilets. See, using the bathroom to take a piss was cool. At least for the boys, that is. But taking a dump, mm, mm, that's a no-no for me. Now, every Tuesday, we had my favorite lunch. Dry-ass burgers and fries. Dead-ass, two slices of bread, a fully genetically modified patty, and some cold-ass fries. Public school at its best. So, I get to lunch. Excuse me? Where's the burgers? Burgers are all out. So, what's left? Hot dog buns and cheese? Okay, I'll have a hot dog. No, you little brat. I said hot dog buns and cheese. Nip. This lady trying to sell me some sliced out buns and melted cheese? Well, we do have some old salami in the back. Okay, that's fine. So I took the salami, ate the food, and got the fourth period. Thank you. I'm not feeling too good. Yo, Tim, you good, fam? Yeah, I'll be good. Yeah, okay. You sure you're good? You know we can all hear that. No, I'm good. Damn, Tim, take your stink ass to the bathroom. See, here's the thing. If there's one thing my body can't handle, it's government cheese. Something about the cheese doesn't go well with my stomach. And eating a crusty-ass salami hot dog, well, that's the worst thing I could have done. So I get to the front. Excuse me, Mr. Leonard. Yes, Tim. Can I use the bathroom right now in the middle of a test? Yes. Can you hold it? No, nigga. At least that's what I wanted to say. No, sir. Okay. I don't like students leaving during the test, but since you're already done, I'll give you a pass. So I get outside and start rushing towards the bathroom. Oh, sh oh I'm make it. See, here's the problem. The closest bathroom was located at the opposite end of the building. Damn, kid, you gotta hold it. Oh, good. Here we are. What the? Now I had two options. Go all the way downstairs and risk having shitty draws or use the girl's bathroom. All right, Jeff, you gotta use the girl's bathroom, kid. So I looked around and made sure the coast was clear. Okay, cool. No one's around. Got to the door. Hello? Hello? Is, Is anyone, anyone here? here? Oh, okay. No one's in the bathroom. Oh, wow. The girl's bathroom smells much better than ours. So I get to the stall, close the door, and start a lane of masterpiece. Oh, that feels so good. That's the spot. Hey, Becky. How's my makeup look? Oh, sh someone's in the bathroom. Girl, you know you look cute. Oh, stop it. Oh, <laughs> can't hold it any longer. Come on, Tim, hold it. So, you got a crush on anyone? Well, Tim's kind of cute. Oh, damn, Tim. Ew, Becky. Was that a fart? No, that wasn't me. I think it's coming from inside the toilet. I can't hold it any longer. Ah, ah, oh, God. Ah. Oh, man. That felt so good. I'm never eating that again. Oh, be alright. 
Now we got a situation. Do I leave the bathroom, risk being seen by the girls, and getting suspended, or hide in the bathroom until the next period when the hallway clears up? Damn, Tim. Dang. All right, cool. I'm going to stick it out. So after a few moments of hiding, the second bell rings, meaning the coast was finally clear. All right, cool. Time to make a move. Excuse me. Is anyone in the bathroom? See, as usual, our assistant principal will visit the bathroom to make sure the students weren't skipping. Oh, it's Miss Mason. Damn, too. So, my guy, what would you do? Come outside and snitch on yourself to Miss Mason and risk getting suspended or find another way. So, Miss Mason gets to the first door, opens it, checked, and nobody was in it. Then, got to the second door, opened it, checked again, the store was clear. Oh, too. You're next. Then she opened the third door. Hmm. And to her surprise, the kid held on to the top of the door to save his life, thereby ducking Miss Mason like a cheat. So I took my butt back to class and went home with the dub. So, moral of the story a challenge only becomes an obstacle when you bow to it.